If your medical device has software, FDA requires that you submit 12 attachments for cybersecurity. Doesn't matter whether your device connects to the cloud, connects to a network, is wireless. If it has software, you have to submit those 12 documents. And if you don't believe me, I'm gonna show you. So if you look at the 2023 Cybersecurity and Medical Devices Guidance Document, and you turn to page six, which is where the scope section is, what they tell you is, the guidance is not limited to devices that are network enabled or contain other connected capabilities. If you look up, what it says is this guidance document is applicable to devices with cybersecurity considerations, including but not limited to devices that have a device software function or that contain software, including firmware or programmable logic. So FDA is saying, if your device has software, this applies. And I'll show you one more piece of evidence of that. because Sometimes people are surprised by that. If you look at the E-Star form, so this is the form that you have to use to submit a 510K to the FDA since 2023. And if you go to the fourth page, you'll see there's this question. Does the device use software or firmware? That's all it's asking. If you select no here, what you'll find is that in the firmware section, it's blank. You don't have to submit anything for software, firmware, or cybersecurity. But if we go back and you select yes, okay. Now, there's either nine or 10 documents for software, and that has to do with the level of risk, and then there's a dozen attachments for cybersecurity. So things like threat modeling, risk assessment, et cetera. In fact, here I've summarized those documents for you here. So there's 12 attachments, your threat model, your cybersecurity controls, your safety and security assessment of vulnerabilities, your cybersecurity management plan, cybersecurity testing, cybersecurity metrics, labeling, software bill of materials, software level of support, etc. If you're working on a medical device that has software and you need help with anything related to cybersecurity, I'm gonna put my contact information down in the description. And also, if you go to our website, which is cybermed.ai, we have a quick start guide there that's about 20 pages and it gives you a bunch of information that's gonna be helpful. Uh, we've also got a one hour webinar that I can share with you. So reach out, we're happy to help. And if you'd like, we can set up a quick call just to see how we might be helpful.